every time I come to a demonstration against fracking, what I notice is more and more people are joining in. And that's because more and more people are getting their heads around what it would mean if fracking were to start happening in their communities. You've got to inform people about the facts. And once people are aware of the facts, they will let their voice be heard through politics, through voting. Why should we let vested interests, people with money, come along and take advantage of what is ours, our countryside, where we live? There needs to be a, a much stronger political response. Uh, we begin to get some helpful noises from Labour, but um, we really want much more from them in terms of uh, dealing with the environmental dangers. The Greens have been opposed to fracking from the very start because it's a fossil fuel. Our principles don't allow it. You know, basically we need to keep all the fossil fuels we have at the moment, we know about at the moment, in the ground and extraction of a new fossil fuel and the setting up of a whole new industry just doesn't make sense in terms of action on climate change. It was inspiring to see people coming together uh, for people to send a message to the rest of the UK that we are prepared to struggle for our rights, that we are against fracking and that we feel that the government has overruled the will of the people. been a good turnout, lots of different people from different sectors, you know, and that's good. And um, well, the spirit's been good and the weather has said, it always helps. Great, wonderful, fantastic energy, great people, old friends, new friends. We're going to support everybody everywhere because it is such an important issue for our children and our grandchildren. Our future is being stolen from us at the moment and the only way we will get it back is if we learn to use our voices together. That they can use their voices and they don't have to accept that situation and we can rebuild our country, we can renew our country, we can, to use a phrase which is in vogue, we can get our country back but not in that nasty authoritarian right-wing way, in a way that reflects the decency, the tolerance, the diversity which actually is our true character as British people. I want people to know that they're not alone, that there are millions of people in the country that support you, that the support for fracking today is only 16%. That is very little. It's contrary to what Quadrilla is telling us, who's saying that only a minority is against fracking. This is the beginning of a lot more activism really and you can see at this demonstration that you've got loads of people here who aren't seasoned activists they've come to this because they're genuinely wholeheartedly against fracking and it's that that's sort of awoken them to the fact that the government's just riding roughshod over local people the question that i have is why is the uk government persistent in giving the support to the oil and gas industry. Whatever the reasons are, are no good. And I think it's important that people were here to send a message to the government, no, we will stand against it, we will speak out, and we will struggle, and we will say no to fraud.